tutorials bungee buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to take an image that I've already pre created in another video, which I will put a link back to. And I've created this stunt using spiral brushes, using 3D effects, and color effects. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually use this again as a 3D design because I think one time you've got 3D and then you just create 3D from the 3D and so on and so on. You can go too far and just keep doing that, but I'm just going to go for this step. So, what I just do, got this image and just go to 3D and new mesh from layer, depth map, and cylinder. Let's create cylinder. Uh, it takes a few seconds to process, so it's uh, it's not an instantaneous filter, fortunately, in the way that uh, it does take a few seconds to process and create a 3D model. Right, now it's done it. Now, one thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to go in a bit closer, and I'm going to rotate it a bit. So, there's that. Every time you do that, unfortunately, it does take a process it again. A bit closer than that, and now this is the one thing with the 3D models you have to, if you want to, avoid horrible patches of white like this sort of thing. You're obviously just gonna just gonna rotate that around. So I do avoid that. Okay, so now, yeah, that's what exactly what I want. So now layer. And rasterize the layer so and then just go to layer and what you can do then you can actually just duplicate this so just go to hold alt and you can duplicate that design so you can create really abstract backgrounds just by holding down obviously you can resize the layer you don't have to actually so you just drag that across there again drag that you can also of course use other transforms maybe flip horizontal flip vertical and so on so on to create some Variations of that. Edit, transform, flip horizontal, and so on and so on. Flatten that, so flatten that image. So now I've got this design. Now what I want to do now is actually take it into Affinity Photo. There's one thing Photoshop's got, it's got lots and lots of filters, it's got lots of things, but it really hasn't got like things like the deform mirror effects, which can really, really bring in and create some really unusual backgrounds. So now image. Adjustment. I like just to quickly add a bit of vibrance just to make that a bit, a bit stand out, as well as using oil paint. And I'm just going to go stylize oil paint, and you can get some really nice sort of smeary sort of designs just creating oil paint. Oil paint again, apply it three or four times just to create a nice little smeared sort of background there, and, and then vibrancy again just to oomph that up. And you've got this lovely, nice blue, purpley design. Got a slightly ugh, white line there, which is not great, but so you could develop the depending on the 3D model you create. Now, what I'm going to do save as file, save as. So I'm just going to save it to my desktop and just going to save image one. Now you could save it as PSD file or TIFF or some other format, PNG. Just going to go with JPEG, fine. Now, just going to go to Affinity Photo now. So Affinity Photo and File and Open. Just obviously go there, Open. 3D model and what section I want is Desktop. So I'll just go Desktop and Images. Image 1 and you see Design there. That opens JPEG quite nicely. Right, so you've got the design there. Now what you can do then is You've obviously got lots of other filters, but you can use one of the best ones is probably Deform. Now, one thing with Deform, and I'm just going to quickly go to Filter and Distort and Deform, is that pinning around the edges, there's no actual feature. I would love to see that added in the application. So, but I'm just going to quickly do that. So you Deform, it just stops the pulling away from the edges. I don't know why they haven't added that feature, but maybe in a future version 1.5, 1.6, maybe someone will add that this little feature just so it stops it from dragging away from the edge. So now go in the center and you can just drag that. So you can still see it drags away from the edge, but it's not such a pronounced as if you didn't have that. And then what you can do, 
just drag that out. And you can actually see you can get some nice sort of whirls. And, and again, you've got that edge over there. You can push that out there. So it's always best just to probably to work on the edge. Just drag that out. And you can really create some nice sort of swirly designs just by doing that. You modify the thing so you can actually just change the intensity of that and you might prefer it to be less or more. And the key thing here always, always is to click apply. Just don't go off and suddenly try and do something else. Click apply and it's actually done. So then, of course, what you can do, and unfortunately, again, like so if you go back in, you've got this distort and deform, you have to quickly go around. I'm not going to do it so, so many, I'm just going to quickly add a few more around the edges. So just like that, and then put one there and just drag that out. And you can see you can really create all kinds of very unusual distorted backgrounds from basically what was a spiral brush. Maybe make it into a, if you can see like a bird designer you can actually of course do that you can actually if you've got an image or something you can maybe map it out and actually drag it out to correspond to general rough idea maybe of a face or something a whole heap of possibilities for the distort and you can cross over and do that right so now you've got that design click apply key thing always click apply okay well at this point what you can do then it's also, you can obviously stop at this point, but you can use other filters, which is really quite good. Nice combination, I always find. Filter, distort, and mirror. And now I'm just going to make mirror. And of course, this is one when you can just go around and explore where you find that you really create a nice image that really works well. You can modify the input and you can tweak that around. That changes. Make number of mirrors, maybe more. Again, move that around. That's quite a lovely one. That's quite a beautiful one. That's actually a lovely one. So it's got a lovely sort of glow in that center. So apply. And of course, what you can do, don't have to just do it again. I mean, it's one thing with filters. You do not have to apply them more you know, just once. You can just go in, make number of mirrors, and create that design like that there. Okay. Click apply. Then just go to save as, or if you want to save it obviously to Affinity format or export. So at this point, just export. But I'm going to save that for the next video. So basically you can save that and I'm just going to continue in Photoshop in the next video. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you very much.